Welcome to the Hotel Moment Podcast, presented by Revenate, the podcast where we talk to leaders in the hospitality industry. If you're looking for trends, perspectives, and stories from leaders in travel and hospitality, you're in the right place. Hello, and welcome to the Hotel Moment Podcast. I am your host, Karen Stevens, the Chief Marketing Officer of Revenate. And today we are honored to introduce Aaron Miller, an expert in CRM and digital marketing. With a track record spearheading innovative strategies to elevate guest engagement and drive revenue, Aaron brings a wealth of knowledge to our discussion. Currently serving as the Vice President of CRM and Digital at Highgate, Aaron has played a pivotal role in shaping loyalty initiatives for iconic hospitality brands by leveraging technology to personalize guest experience and maximize ROI. With a career spanning over two decades at roles in renowned organizations like Turning Stone Enterprises, the Seidel Group, Trump Hotels, and the Venetian Resort Las Vegas, Aaron's insights are invaluable in navigating the ever-changing landscape of hospitality technology. Welcome to the podcast. Thank you for having me. <laughs> it is great to have you here, Aaron. Thanks for, be- yeah, happy to be here. You know, this is our, this, we're wrapping up day one here in Miami, so mm-hmm. we're all here for Navigate in Miami, mm-hmm. and uh, it's really wonderful to be able to do these podcasts in person, so thank you for taking time at the end of the day. Thank you for having me at the end of the day. It's been a big day. Around. Yeah, yeah. It's been great to see everybody. <laughs> so, it's a lot of fun. So let's start with, you know, we've been, we've had a lot of panels, a lot of discussions, a lot of meetings, so what is your impression here at day one? What have you kind of taken away from all the discussions you've had today? Um, I love where we're headed. You know what I mean? I think that there's just this great balance of, you know, finding, you know, on the path of what are we going to do next? What's actionable? What matters to us? How do we stay creative? How do we keep things fun? You know, what's realistic in the next couple months? You know, what is the market asking from us? What are internally we being asked to do? You know, I think that we're answering a lot of those questions one by one, um, but it doesn't necessarily feel like a quiz. Yeah. It kind of feels like these types of dialogues where we're able to, you know, vent a little bit, be thoughtful a little bit, you know, yeah. hear from other people with their experiences and, you know, hopefully be able to bring that back and make some new changes. Yeah, you know, I think that's the coolest part about a conference like this because it is a customer conference. So you're seeing brands of all different shapes and sizes and resorts and properties. And I think it's really that exchange of information. So there's the content of the conference, but then there's also all the people kind of bringing those perspectives to the table. So Yeah. What's uh, what's great is like, I'm clearly um, a fan of a lot of the email marketing that I see resulting from some of the brands that are here. Yeah. So it's kind of like seeing celebrities a right? little bit where I'm like, you're behind some of the emails that I get. I love them. Yeah. Maybe that's the nerdiest thing you've ever heard on this podcast, but yeah. it's kind of the truth, you know, being able to see who's behind this stuff. It's the who's who yeah, of the beautiful who. brands in the United. It yeah. really is. It's, it's the red like, carpet. It's the red carpet. That's so cool. So I love looking at your experience. So I, I read a couple of organizations there that you worked for. Sure. And of course, the one I want to hear about is the Venetian. Sure. Uh, because I just, that's next level. So can you tell us a little bit about what you did in Las Vegas and what it's like to run, you know, <laughs> the strategy and, and all the things that you did there? Sure. So that, I started my hospitality career there. Um, so this was uh, during college. Um, I went to UNLV mm-hmm. at the hotel school. And I would go to class at night and work during the day or flip-flop and work during the day and go to class. Uh, I'd do graveyard shifts and uh, work or go to school during the day. I can't even remember because my, you know, <laughs> the scheduling was so flip-flopped all the time. Yeah. Um, but, you know, so got into the industry through operations and understanding that structure. I mean, it's, you know, a gigantic organization, a gigantic building, you know, at the time, it was like 4,000 suites in the building, and then they added the plot, so it was another 3,000. Um, so it's just, you know, not necessarily the uh, example that I return to for a lot of things, right. other than if you can do this, you can probably do a lot of other right. things. Right, yeah. In <laughs> uh, and, and the casino world, too. So, you know, I, I never worked in the casino on the floor or anything like that, but through operations, and I moved into sales, and get, I started understanding that because it's a huge convention base. You know, they have tons of ballrooms. They have the Sands Convention Center next door. Now it's the Venetian Convention Center. Um, so a lot of meeting space. Got to fill up a lot of rooms. Um, and then that kind of led me into revenue management world where I started understanding, you know, who's saying no to all the rates that I'm asking for to get these groups <laughs> to sign these contracts. Uh, revenue management, oh, what do they know? You know how does this work? And kind of waded into that. And that's, you know, brought me to New York. And I started working through uh, 
kind of that division ever since. Okay, very cool. Yeah. yeah. So now you're at Highgate. Mm -hmm. So can you describe a little bit? Well, first of all, I know Highgate's obviously a, a huge management company, but sure. can you tell us a little bit more about the portfolio, the size of the company, what what's in there? Yeah, <laughs> sure. Um, yeah, it's it's big and growing every day. Um, huge presence across uh, America, a, a big international presence. Um, we onboarded um, maybe about 14 hotels from Portugal onto Revenate in the last year. Wow. Um, so it's wonderful. I work with the independents. Um, probably in general, I work with, I'd say it's pushing 100. I keep saying that number. I think that that's true. <laughs> maybe it's a little less, maybe it's a little more. I can't keep track these days and I don't hold myself to a number anymore. Right. Um, but it's sizable and it's great because they're all different and, yes. you know, they live in their own little universes and that makes, you know, the data component a little bit more complicated, but you can learn from one and that brings it to the next. And, you know, I guess just this unique type of structure being a management company of that size and all these cool different assets. So, so it's a lot of fun and it's a lot of great people to work with. Yeah, you know, one thing when we think about, you know, a, a huge organization like Highgate and then you've got the pocket of, of independent hotels within that. Mm -hmm. So can you talk a little bit about, I know you want to preserve kind of the character of the independent hotel, but how do you leverage first party data to make sure that the guests, because it's not just the hotel they're staying in, if you're doing it right, mm -hmm. you can use it in other places. So you want to talk a little bit about that, how you approach it? Yeah, I mean, it depends. So um, I work really closely with the Viceroy team. Um, they are fantastic. They have, uh, you know, a small brand of hotels that are gorgeous. Um, and they have the luxury of being able to kind of share data in between one another, mm -hmm. right? That's how a brand works, you know, even a small brand like that. Um, whereas some of these in other independents that are true, true independents, um, they don't have that ability because they don't have any affiliation with the hotel down the right. road that I'm also working with. So that complicates things, but you know we're, what we're able to leverage with first party data doesn't necessarily mean that we're limited to say, we can't use this data from here and use it there, which is the truth, we can't do that, but we can learn from practices to say, oh, we were able to implement this sort of you know, um, Wi-Fi portal page to collect this, you know, these contacts and we're just showing it to guests and, you know, we're not forcing them to do anything. It's up to them, but putting it in front of them, you know, people typically want to hear from the hotel that they're staying at if they like it. Learning from that, finding those same vendors, implementing that at other places. So a lot of the practices can uh, be standardized at scale, which is Makes my life easier when we can do right, it. Right, yeah. <laughs> so what does it look like when you take over a hotel? Do you have a playbook that you kind of go in with? Like I try. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I try. Uh, we'll see how quickly it goes out the window. But yeah, in general, you know, we, we have some best practices with um, setups and um, SOPs and, you know, calendar strategies, um, audience strategies, and things like that, that we typically are able to implement everywhere we go. Okay, very yeah. cool, very cool. So you mentioned you opened up, uh, we took over some hotels now in Portugal. Mm -hmm. So what is the international kind of portfolio and what is the growth plan for Highgate outside of the United States? That's a great question. I mean, it's growing all the time. Um, I don't necessarily, I can't keep track with the development <laughs> because it's so you know wonderful and they're growing all the time. The Portugal um, situation was fantastic. I mean, these hotels are beautiful. Um, they just revamped Sisimbra, which is like a gorgeous, you know, a hotel right by the water. I mean, it's amazing. Um, so it, it, it's fantastic. They're, they're growing all the time, domestic too. I mean, you know, I'll get, I'll be in here doing a podcast with you, leave and check my phone and we just took over another hotel and, wow. you know, we have to get a contract. We got to go, 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 go. Um, so it's growing all the time, which is, you know, the right kind of anxiety to have, I guess. All right. It's job security. Yeah, it can be. <laughs> so it's 7,000 rooms are just spread out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Out of the casino. All over the place. Yeah, exactly. yeah. So what does a day in the life look like for you? I mean, you mentioned you're opening all these things, but like, what is, what do you do when you first wake up in the morning to, to deal with this portfolio? How does it Coffee. go? Coffee. Lots of coffee. <laughs> oh, yeah, we learned that. Yep. Lots of coffee. Got to fuel up. Um, <laughs> no, from there, I mean, you know, I see by nature of where all these hotels are, you know, we're in different time zones. So I try and do my best to stay as up to date as I possibly can with what's come in, what I haven't been able to respond to in my emails. We have uh, many, many different calls for many, many different things. Um, usually these are kind of scheduled. We have like our weekly uh, calls with website vendors or weekly call with digital marketing vendors. We have, you know, ad hoc calls all over the place. You know, I have a call, you know, all the time with our 
CRM team here. Right. Um, it's it's constant in a very good way because it it keeps things current and you catch things that way and it's just a never ending dialogue. Um, and then all the emails in between, you know, trying to manage uh, the, the conversations, which are imperative. You have to. And that's what's actually happening out there. Yeah. Budget season must be a nightmare for you. Budget season. <laughs> you said those two words. Sorry. <laughs> and we have six months to go. So I'm, I'm sorry I brought it up. It's okay. It's okay. It's almost happy hour. It's almost happy hour. That's right, folks. We've been we've been at it all day. So <laughs> you're listening to this in the comfort of your home. But right. it's been a good conference. <laughs> it's, it's comfortable. Yeah. That's for sure. Yeah. So what are you most looking forward to? I mean, you You've seen a lot and heard a lot today, and obviously, you know, as a technology vendor, we have things that are in production now that are starting to surface. Um, but as you've had, I know you've had meetings with a lot of our senior leadership while you've been here. So, of everything you heard today, what are you most looking forward to? I mean, I'm really looking forward to see where things go from here with Revenant. You know, understanding the CDP and hearing, you know, all the wonderful things that can come from that yeah. is really enticing. Um, being able to modify the existing apps and being able to tie everything together. I mean, that's sort of the name of the game when you're talking about data and being able to kind of get creative with it, you know, to say, um, what do we have? Can I use it? Should I use it? Does it make a difference? You know, and being able to kind of play with that is half the fun. It kind of is. So, you know, being in a room with everybody here and seeing, you know, all these experts, it's just really empowering to say, you know, there are a lot of smart people doing a lot of smart things. And, you know, you get to see the fruits of those, that labor. Yeah, no, it's, it's, that's exciting. I think that's a good way to put it, you know, because you're always, we're always evolving. And, I mean, just personally for me, because it's been a long time coming, building the CDP, putting in all the technology we knew it would be scalable. And now it's kind of like, okay, now we can really iterate and see what's there. Yeah. But it's a very hard problems to solve. You mm-hmm. know, it's, and, and it's, always, it's always ongoing. You, you, I don't think we ever say, oh, we've reached the... Yeah. The top, you know, which is good. Again, job security. Right. Job security. <laughs> so, you know, in closing, it sounds like you had a really cool trajectory, kind of unexpected. I mean, did, did you think you wanted to be in hospitality or or were you like, no. I'm at school? I, I mean, initially, I, to... I had no idea, honestly. I, I mean, it. but it's, it's sort of being around it. And I grew up in Las Vegas. So yeah. it's kind of there yeah. and sort of just like in any environment that you grow up in. It's just like the big industry in your town. And that was kind of always around, you know, and as, you know, I got a little bit older and started seeing, you know, what that industry can be and how it affects, you know, travel. And the travel component was what really got me interested because, you know, the difference with Vegas is that it's, you know, all signs point to Vegas, 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 right? And then outside of that, there's this element of like, oh, you can go think of a brand, right? You can go here, you can go there. We're all connected similar with a management company where I see all these different independent properties and no, they don't necessarily have affiliation with one another, but it takes you to cool places. It takes you to see different things and meet different types of people. It's, and and the restaurants aren't bad either, you know? I know. What what a great hospitality, what a great industry to fall into, right? It's hospitality. So what, what advice would you offer to somebody who is like, huh, I really think, you know, I've been listening and I've been, I love hotels and how do I get myself in this career, specifically in the digital marketing CRM part of the career? That's a great question. I mean, it's such a fun part of the digital landscape. You know, the hospitality industry is fun in general. Um, My sincere advice, if you want to get into the digital marketing world, if you want to get into the CRM world, work inside of a hotel first. Know what you're selling. You know, I I can't thank my younger self enough for working in operations and going through all those graveyard shifts and doing all that stuff that, you know, there's a lot of nitty gritty to it, but it it really, I know this may sound cliche and maybe cliches are kind of true, but I've learned so much from doing that to be able to say, you know, when we're sending out these campaigns or designing ads, you know, we're keeping that in mind. You know, what really happens when you're at this hotel, you know, feature that be proud of it, you know, and having an understanding of what's going on with folks that are working inside the building, making it actually work, Mm -hmm. you know, it's the most important thing. So start there, understand the product of what you're selling, and then, you know, find your way. You just get familiar, learn the technology, get familiar with Google, get familiar with, you know, revenue, get familiar with, you know, digital landscape. It's great. Yeah, always be, always be learning. I think that's really good advice. I think that there's a lot of, because hospitality is such a specific I mean, I guess every industry thinks that they're specific, Uh, you know, fine. Okay. We love our industry. Um, But I think there's something to be said for having credibility 
uh, no matter what part you want to move into. And sure. I think if you're coming in from the outside and you haven't spent the time to kind of learn the inside, it, it, you know, you can get there, but it's probably a lot more fun to do it from the inside out, right? It is, <laughs> yeah. I mean, work at a hotel, fall in love with it, learn every nook and cranny in that building. You'll have a different appreciation for what's going on on advertising, honestly. Yeah, wow, oh, I love it. Well, hey, thanks, Aaron, for spending a little time with us right before the big party tonight. So sure. I appreciate you taking the time. My guest has been Aaron Miller who is the Vice President of CRM and Digital at Highgate Hotels. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Yep. Thank you for listening to the Hotel Moment Podcast. Make sure to subscribe wherever you listen to podcasts. And if you're watching on YouTube, please like the video and subscribe for more content. For more information, head to hotelmomentpodcast.com. The Hotel Moment Podcast is presented by Revenate.